In this box, I have the secret Callaway golf balls I've bought from Amazon. Are they possibly the cheapest Callaway golf balls you can buy on the market right now? And more importantly, are they any good or are they ones to avoid? Let's find out. So let me tell you the story. I was scouring Amazon in the golf section and I discovered these golf balls and I did not recognize them at all. And for a roughly a pound of golf ball, I thought it's a bit of a bargain. Now, I'll be honest, I first off question, are they actually even real? So I contacted my contact at Callaway and asked them, and they said, yes, they are genuine Callaway golf balls, but we don't spend any money on marketing. They're not on our official website. So they're effectively Amazon exclusive. So I bought two boxes and in here, we should have those two boxes. And this is the box, Hex Soft, a distance ball with incredible feel. So when I bought these from Amazon, they were $13.99 for a box, which is like I say, just over a pound of golf ball. And that's why I think they're the cheapest Callaway golf balls on the market right now, because if you actually look on the Callaway website, the cheapest balls are Warbirds, which you've probably heard of. They're about 16 to 18 pounds. Now, granted, I bought these at 13.99 now. The price might vary. It's Amazon, you know, prices go up and down, but I'm pretty confident these are the cheapest Callaway golf balls. So we've opened it up and it all looks very nice. 12 golf balls in a box, as you would imagine. And on the box, you got some spiel. Now, you know what golf ball manufacturers are like. Surely everything goes long and straight and it's soft. Or well, what are Callaway heck soft saying here? So I actually quite like the illustrations. It makes it very simple to understand, but they're saying low spin on the woods for long distance tee to green. Okay, we'll have a look at that. Okay, this is an interesting one. Reduced spin with long shots for a straighter ball flight resulting in fewer hooks and slices. So it's promising to be straighter by having less spin, but with its soft cover, it has incredible feel on shots around the green. Okay, first inspection. Um, Callaway, hex dimples, it just very simply says hex soft on the side. Let's do the bite test. Not, not outrageously soft on first inspection. I can't get my thumbnail in it really well. I'm not really getting much of a chew on that, but we'll actually see what it feels like with a, with a golf club in hand. I start off with a putting green first, then we do some chips, hit some longer shots. We're going to test out the durability of these golf balls as well. But most importantly, after all the testing I'm going to do today on these golf balls, we're going to find out, are they phenomenal value? Or is there a reason why Callaway have basically palmed them off to Amazon? Okay, first test. Putting green, how do these balls feel? Now, they're called Hex Soft. It says in the box they should have a soft feel around the green, but what do they actually feel like with putter? This isn't gonna take me long to establish. I'm gonna hit these three putts of a medium length, and I'll be able to almost give you an instant reaction to how this golf ball feels. I'm not looking too much to hold it. I'm not too worried about the, per the actual end result. <laughs> Maybe I should put like that all the time. Um, not a terrible feel. I'm going to describe them as, as medium firm. So not, not definitely not soft, but not rock hard. Ah, oh, I thought I was going to get two. Yeah, medium firm. I'm, I'm okay with that feel. Okay, next test is feel around the greens. I've got six golf balls here, and I've got a little pitch into this green. Uh, this will be a great indicator to see how this, the cover apparently is incredible feel. Let's see if that's the case. I've also, feeling confident, I've got a drone over the flag. If it cuts the drone, it means I've hit a good one. <laughs> um, but more importantly, I'm, I'm trying to get my, my understanding of how these golf balls feel. So let's hit a few in there. Okay, that was a warm-up shot. <laughs> that was such a bad shot. Um, it kind of almost like spat up the face a little bit. It, I'll give it some credit. It felt actually quite good, but it was a horrendous chip. Let's try and hit some better ones. That's nicer. That's going to go in the hole. Oof. Felt nice. Really does. 
you can kind of you know with a soft covered golf ball sometimes you can almost feel it grabbing the face that's how it creates that kind of spin on the golf ball and i must admit even those first two i could feel it almost grabbing onto the face gives me confidence that I can, I mean, I'm pitching these on a little down slope. It gives me confidence that I can fly it in there. And you know what? It's quite interesting because I didn't give it a super soft rating on the putting green. Didn't feel really soft hitting putter, but on a slightly longer shot, I'm definitely getting a nice feel off this wedge. Uh, probably, I would say, to me, it's not far off something like a, a, even a very premium ball, like a Chrome Soft with a Callaway. Like it does have that nice, almost premium feel on these little shots around the green. Yeah, another really nice shot. Just a little bit of the down slope there, but honestly, it does feel good. I'm excited to hit some longer shots now. Hit the slope. Let's see if we can hold this last one. Travel, take the slope, take the break. Yeah, not too bad. You know, in fact, better than that. Those little shots felt really, really nice. Cover feels super. Like that, actually, it feels good. I wasn't getting that softness off the putter, but definitely off the little wedge shots, they feel really nice. Okay, so this has been an interesting test. I've come out 100 yards away, so I'm hitting full sand wedge shots. Uh, I've got the drone up again, just in case I hit some close ones so we can capture it. Um, what I'm fascinated to see now is, as you saw in the box, it mentioned that they've got low spin on the fuller shots, and I'm guessing that means more the woods because they're saying that's gonna stop it from slicing or fading. But does that mean then they also won't spin very much with a full iron shot like a sand wedge? Well, let's, let's find out. And in theory, I should hit them super straight if they don't spin. So let's see what the results are. <laughs> I've just done something. I never, ever, 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 ever thought I would ever do. I've just thinned it all the way through the back of the green. It's hit the road and I think I've just hit the clubhouse and I did hear a clatter of some description. Even though I might have just saved some money on some golf balls, that might have just cost me a lot of money on a new broken window. A new window I need to fix. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wasn't me, all right? Don't, <laughs> I'm just... Pretend, pretend nothing happened. Okay, let's try and hit this one a little bit more, nicer. Well, at the moment, I've thinned one through the back, I've hit one through the back of the green, I've pushed one to the right, none of them are even remotely close to the flag. Okay, six shots there. And I've got to be totally honest with you, none of them are that good. I lost a bit of confidence after that first shot. Uh, there is somebody looking from the back of the 18th green. So I think the first thing we should do is go and investigate whether I've actually smashed something or broke something. Right, so it bounced. It bounced off this path. Okay. <laughs> I've never ever in all my years playing here, filming here. I've never, ever done this. It's up here. And it made a clatter. Okay, the good news is, they were the five windows. I thought I could have smashed one of them. And none of them are smashed. <laughs> Come here. I think I can see it. <laughs> so, I think that's classed as being out of bounds. Just double check I've not broke anything. And that is my ball, the Callaway Hex Soft, with a, just have a look at that, with a, a right good scratch in there now. I must have hit one of these tables. The green is like 50 yards. I'm, I'm 63 yards away from the middle of the green, so I hit that, I hit that uh, sand wedge about 170 yards. 
I've not broke anything. I'm not in trouble. We've got the golf ball back. Yeah, that, that scared me, that. <laughs> okay, normal service resumes. Um, the five I actually managed to hit the green with, shockingly. I managed to actually hit the green. Uh, they all kind of just dropped and stopped. Not really a great deal of backspin. But again, you might not want shed loads of backspin. Um, it doesn't promise that it's going to zip off the green. It doesn't, doesn't promise you're going to get loads of backspin. In fact, it kind of advertises almost more lower backspin to help you hit it straighter. But in fairness, those shots were... Mm, no, I can't give any credit to that. Those shots were pretty bad, but that was more on me. Right, I'll tell you what we're going to do now. Durability test. And I think then we need to get to the tee and hit some long shots, some drivers. See if it's actually got some distance in these golf balls and see if there's any evidence in the claim that you could hit them straighter because of the lower spin. Next up, durability test. I'm going to hit 10 shots with this brand new Callaway Hex Soft golf ball because even though, granted, the person, I don't want to pigeonhole the golfer who buys this golf ball, possibly might lose them before durability is an issue, it's still an important part to a ball review. 10 shots, let's see how this golf ball cover lasts. Okay, 10 golf shots with this ball out of a bunker many golf balls have failed this test they've been scuffed scratched unplayable after that test this golf ball has done incredibly well like there is quite literally one little tiny blemish very very playable this golf ball still you know what so far i'm bloody impressed with these golf balls like they've passed every test i've thrown it so far with flying colors i think the only thing i could pick up on was the firmness off the putter but everything else it's done incredibly well on so we're going to go back to the tee now hit some driver shots will they go long will they go straight and are they possibly one of the best golf balls you can buy certainly for the price before we do though let's chop this one in half just so we can see what's inside it i think it's a well, it feels really soft Oh my goodness, that was one of the softest golf balls I've ever cut open. Two piece, really there's not a lot to it. That's the inside of the golf ball. All looks nice and symmetrical, all looks, yeah, all looks absolutely fine. Let's get back to the tee. Okay, final test for this golf ball is with the driver. Now I normally, with a premium golf ball, at £3.50, £4 a golf ball, I'm looking at trying to get ball speeds of around about 160 miles per hour with my swing speed of 110 miles per hour. And I'm looking to carry the golf ball about 280 yards. Now, one of the claims from this Callaway Hexsoft golf ball is off the tee. It's saying it's going to fly straighter because of lower spin. Well, it's pretty straight. I don't think I hit it the best ever, but that is one safely in the fairway. Okay, first shot with the driver, that carried 254 and had 148 miles per hour ball speed. But I've got to be honest, it was a pretty horrendous strike. My first shots of this whole test haven't been particularly good. In fact, I actually held the first putt, didn't I? But anyway, right, let's, uh, let's hit a few more. Another one straight down the middle. Felt a better hit. Okay, that one was hit proper. Now, I'm not going to look, okay? In my mind, I know I've hit enough golf shots in my time that that, with that strike, would have carried 280 yards with 160 miles per hour ball speed, if not a touch more. Okay, I've, I've not looked. Come have a look. 271 carry and 152 ball speed with 1,900 spin. I mean, that's 10 yards short of what I expected. And the ball speed was what, about five or six miles per hour slower than what I'd expect. Now that might be the downside of this golf ball. When hit with speed, I don't think you're getting much ball speed from it. That kind of softer golf ball doesn't seem to be flying off the face. And it could be more, but I was shocked about that one. That definitely surprised me. Big high draw, but it's fine in fairway again. Okay, so my summary with driver there, I've got to be honest, I've just hit a lot of fairways. I think I pretty much every shot I hit, hit the fairway. The distance wise, it's a little bit shorter than what I'd expect to see from a premium golf ball. So it's something to consider, maybe when looking at buying these golf balls. Overall, however, for the price, these golf balls are phenomenal. They are, I've got to say it, 
Which I bought them off Amazon and they have really shocked me, surprised me, formed a lot better than I expect. And it kind of just goes to show if Callaway can make a golf ball this cheap and to perform that good, why are they wanting to make a golf ball that's 40 plus pounds? Because I honestly don't see much difference in that premium golf ball compared to that that I've just tested today. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.